Hello there, welcome to this video. Let's see quickly and shortly all you need to know to start using Microsoft Visio Professional 2016. Please leave us comments to improve our next video guides. Microsoft Visio is a professional software used to draw flowcharts, diagrams, and schematics in a business environment, providing several ready-made drawing templates with an intuitive workflow. Let's see all the main important tools to start working with it. When you open Visio, this opens the Featured page, with a list of several new documents that use different kinds of templates, from business flowcharts to architectural objects and engineering projects. To learn how to use Visio, let's start with a blank document by going to Blank Drawing and choose either the metric unit or the U.S. one. The new Visio drawing starts from a blank page sheet, eventually with rulers and grids that you can show or hide from the View tab on top. These are used to draw more precisely and won't be rendered in case you print or export your work. Also under the Design tab, use Orientation to fix the page vertically or horizontally, and use Size to choose the page size between several standard page formats or a custom one by going to More Page Sizes. After fixing the properties of the page, you can start drawing by using the Visio tools. A Visio drawing is composed of three main kinds of objects, the shapes, the connectors, and the text. The shapes are objects used to represent a topic, a component, or a symbol. This can be very simple, such as a rectangle, a circle, or a curve, but it can also represent a computer, a motor, a pump, or an electrical transistor. These are the main subjects of your project. The connectors are simple wires that connect two or more shapes together. These are fundamental to show the relationship between the shapes, giving a clear representation of the topic. Text is simply used to describe shapes and add notes and labels to make your drawing clearer. When you start drawing, it is always better to start from the shapes. On the far left, you have the Shapes panel that collects all the different shapes available inside Visio by default all collected inside different sections called stencils. Choose the topic you are interested in and find the right shape and then simply click and drag this on your page to import a copy. You can also create fully customized shapes. On top, in the Tool section, use the Rectangle button to draw a simple rectangle on your page. Also, by using the right arrow, you can draw circles, freehand curves and arcs by clicking and dragging on your page. To check your drawing carefully, remember to zoom in and out by holding Ctrl down and using your mouse wheel. Once shapes are dropped, connect them by drawing connectors with the connector tool. If you enable this tool and hover on the existing shapes, these will show several points, called connection points. These are anchor points where you can start drawing by clicking and dragging your wire from one shape to another. This creates a connection between the two shapes that can be properly adjusted by moving and dragging from its blue nodes. Keep in mind that while Visio helps you with drawing, it does not check to see if your connections are correct, so double-check them before printing or exporting your drawing. Ready-made shapes taken from the default stencils inside Visio come complete with their own connection points. But if you create new shapes on your own, these won't have any connection point at first, so these can't work with the connector tool. To add and manage connection points, use the Connection Point tool. When this tool is enabled, you won't work with the shape or the connectors, but with the connection points on them. When your pointer shows four arrows, 
you are hovering a connection point, and so you can click and drag to move it. Also, the connectors attached to it will follow it. To add new connection points instead, hold Control down and click on the Shape path. These are shown in pink color. You can also add connection points on curves and connection wires. After creating your custom shapes complete with their own connection points, you can save them to use whenever you like. You can create your own stencil by going to More Shapes, New Stencil. There you can drop all your own shapes, then right-click on your stencil and go to Save As to rename and save it. In this way, you won't need to create your own shapes again in the future. Once your basic drawing is made, you can add annotations with the text tool on top. Click and drag on your drawing to fix a text area, which is the basic contour inside which all your text content will be contained. Type in and select your text to edit it on top. Through the Home tab, adjust the font style, size, color, and distribution. Click outside the text box to apply all. If you create text in this way, this will be completely independent. But, if you double-click on an object, you can add text linked to it, which is very useful if you want to add labels. This means that if you edit and move the object, its text follows. Let's see how to edit your objects on your page. Above, under the Home tab, you can use the Pointer tool to manage and edit all your objects. When you click on a shape, a connector, or a text box, you will select it, and several nodes appear on them. Click and drag the object to move it. Use its white nodes to scale, and use the Rotate icon to rotate. Under Shape Styles, use Fill to add filling color on the selected object, or use Line to adjust the outline color width and line style. Use effects to add great effects such as glow, reflection, and shadow. You can also edit and personalize the connection wires. Use line to change its color, width, and style, and add effects through effects if you need. Plus, if you right-click on the connector, you can make the connector completely straight or even curved. To edit the text linked to other shapes, you can either double-click on the object or enable the Text Block tool to select it straight. To cut, copy, and paste an object, just right-click on it. To undo your latest action, use Ctrl and Z. While you draw, Visio helps you at placing your objects in the correct position. For example, if you move an object, you can move horizontally or vertically only by holding Shift down. Also, by default, Visio snaps your pointer to the grids or fractions of it. To ignore all snappings, hold Alt down while moving. You can regulate the snapping setting by going to Visual Aids and opening the Snap and Glue dialog box. Inside Visio, you can also insert pictures and tables easily. In the Insert tab, use Pictures to import a picture. You can adjust and edit it as seen for the shapes, but you can also adjust the picture appearance by going to Format under Picture Tools. You can correct brightness, contrast, or add any outline or crop the image if you need. To add charts instead, use Chart under the Insert tab. This will use the Excel interface to edit and organize your chart and its data. Check out our graph video guide for Excel 2016 if you need additional help on it. Let's see how to save and export your drawing from Visio. 
To save your drawing, just go to File and then to Save As. Visio drawings are saved in a VSDX format. When you save this kind of file, you are able to open it at a later time to edit it again. If you want to render your drawings into a picture, just choose a picture format from the list, such as PNG or a JPEG. If you want to print your drawing, go to File and then to Print. A preview will appear on the right, showing you how your Visio project is going to be printed. If you want to print your drawing, consider using standard page sizes in order to have the best match between your drawing size and your printer. If you want to save it to share it online, go to Export and save your drawing in PDF. Also, when you save and export your drawing, all the blank space inside your page will be rendered in white. For this reason, Consider using the Fit to Drawing feature to adapt the page to your drawing, unless you print the drawing on a standard page. You can find Fit to Drawing in the Design tab under Size. When you save and render, remember not to have any object selected. If you have any object selected, Visio will export it only, ignoring the rest of your drawing. Thanks for watching this video. Check out our channel to discover other amazing software inside Microsoft Office.